Did you know that Komodo dragons, also known by their scientific name as Varanus komodoensis, are in fact the largest lizards on Earth? Measuring up to 10 feet in length and more than 300 pounds, these lizards are most commonly found in tropical islands. These Komodo dragons have been residing in the rugged climate of Indonesia's Lesa Sunda Islands for millions of years. They tend to prefer the tropical forests of these islands, but they can also be found around the islands. While these agile reptiles can walk up to 7 miles a day, they tend to remain close to home, rarely venturing out from the valleys in which they grew up in. The average lifespan of the Komodo dragon is approximately 30 years, and the common physical traits of these lizards are long flat heads with pointed snouts, scaly skin, bent legs, and thick muscular tails. As the primary predators of the few islands that they occupy, Komodo dragons can consume almost everything, including carrion, deer, pigs, smaller dragons, and even massive water buffaloes. During the hunting period, the Komodo dragons rely on disguise and persistence, lying in wait for their moving prey. When the victim waddles, the dragon springs, using his sharp claws and serrated, shark-like jaws to annihilate their victims. Komodo dragon has venom glands filled with toxins that can lower blood pressure, induce major bleeding, avoid clot formation, and cause shock. These dangerous lizards are capable of snapping with their teeth hard and drawing back with their strong neck muscles, resulting in large, gaping wounds. The venom then tends to accelerate the blood loss and shocks the prey. Even in situations where these victims are able to flee, the Komodo dragons will quietly track the escapee for miles while the poison takes effect, using their acute sense of smell to home in on the corpse. I guess the prey of these huge lizards has a bit of tough luck surviving. Also, the fact that the Komodo dragon can eat 80% of his body weight in a single diet is just mind-blowing. In terms of reproduction, the Komodo dragons only mate once a year. The female Komodo dragons send off a smell in their waist for the male Komodo dragon to track. When a male dragon encounters a female, it will scratch the back and lick the body of the female. In the case where the female licks the male back, the mating process starts. At times, males also fail to win breeding rights too. In a case where the female becomes pregnant, it lays about 30 eggs, which are buried in the soil before they hatch 8 months later. An interesting fact worth noting is the ability of the female Komodo dragons to reproduce without a male. When there are no males present, female Komodo dragons have other ways of reproduction. Since the Komodo dragon tends to have both male and female sex chromosomes, female dragons can produce offspring asexually by a method known as parthenogenesis. Though asexual reproduction enables the female Komodo dragons to replenish their population, which is indeed an evolutionary advantage, it has a major drawback. This form of reproduction process only results in the birth of the male species. The lack of other females in the population has contributed to reports of inbreeding. The reptile's unwillingness to venture away from home exacerbates the problem as the species population decreases and splits. In recent times, humans have also posed a threat to the life of the Komodo dragon. People have burned the Komodo dragon's habitat to clear it for other uses, while poachers target this reptile and its prey. Tourists, too, are providing food handouts and disturbing the breeding phase of dragons, which prompted the government of Indonesia to propose the temporary closure of Komodo Island, one of the few on which tourism has been listed. But visitors are also important to conservation efforts, as they offer an economic boost to locals to help preserve the Komodo dragon. Komodo National Park has established patrols to prevent poaching, 
It also works with local communities to build awareness of the species and the importance of protecting it. Anyways, that's it for today. Thanks for watching this video, and do subscribe as well as click the bell icon to get notified of more of our interesting and informative videos about the animal kingdom and unique creatures that you may want to know about. Also, don't forget to leave a comment down below on what you think about the Komodo dragons and let us know what you would like to watch next time.